my dear friends my dear friends my dear friends my dear friends now fix your canary i am k r gobinad can call me k r g my dear friends today i want to speak about a silent danger one that surrounds us every single day yet most of us choose to ignore that is the water crisis it is not a problem of the future it is a danger already here threatening our homes our cities even our own survival i'll treat this as an invisible threat to our country at large we often worry about fuel prices electricity bills or even inflation but tell me my dear friends what do you do when there is no water to drink no water to cook not even a drop of water to wash let me now confess i have faced that pain personally back in the 1980s even my own bungalow in anandagar chennai suffered from severe water shortage that experience changed my life forever every drop we waste today is a drop stolen from our children's tomorrow many indian cities are already facing alarming groundwater depletion if you continue ignoring nature's warning our children and grandchildren will definitely suffer water scarcity does not arrive the great noise it slowly creeps especially during harsh summer days and by the time we are raised it is too late why is this happening our beloved country receives on average 1100 mm rainfall every year we can claim as one of the richest country in the world which receives maximum rainfall after south america because we have forgotten how to respect rainwater do you know even today we teach our children in primary schools rain rain go away come again another day that till donny wants to play this is what we are teaching our children that innocent rain has turned into a dangerous mindset for our youngsters most homes do not harvest rain water we allow it to flow into drains rivers and finally to the sea draining our own future urbanization has sealed our top soil with concrete we extract ground water but never replace it that imbalance is the real danger let me talk about the power of one drop of water here is a simple truth 1 mm of rain on 1 square meter is equal to 1 liter of water i repeat 1 mm of rain on 1 square meter can save 1 liter of water now imagine this across your rooftop your street your neighborhood if every household stored and recharged your part of that rain water our wells would get filled our tanks would rise and our rivers would start flowing again and again we don't need huge budgets or giant projects what we need is awareness 
action and ownership let me tell you few lessons from israel small is big looks very amusing is it not let me share what i personally witnessed in israel let me let me i want to share what i have personally witnessed in israel israel a desert nation that became water surplus today they received not more than 400 mm rainfall per year as against 1100 mm rainfall what we receive yet they never go dry in israel how they dig 3000 tiny pits for 1 meter dia 1 meter depth per acre each pit collects 1 cubic meter of rain water that means 30 lakh liters per acre every season what a massive impact on groundwater table inspired by this in my own 22 acre farm near chennai i applied the same principle i planted 800 coconut trees and built recharge bits between them do you want another result i never faced any water shortage thereafter harvest rain water from rooftops store or recharge it fix leakages cause every drop counts another very important point plant trees particularly neem tree which can not only bring rain but also it can improve ground water table by continuously recharge by continuously recharging through the roots educate our children make water conservation a habit not to say campy when each of us takes small steps we prevent a great big dangerous disaster friends the water crisis is not just an environmental issue it is about human survival so let us act today don't postpone for tomorrow so let us act today not tomorrow let us harvest every drop not just talk let us become the guardians of water the true wealth of life if we conserve water today water will conserve us tomorrow i am also planning a follow up episode featuring dr raghuraman our chief executive who will explain with the drawings and real life examples how to store and recharge rain water how to improve ground water quality and quantity and preserve every drop within your own premises please stay tuned